Hey everyone, this is Susan. Welcome to my page. I am a saint artist and this is going to be my first upload. I have not had the courage to do a live video yet, so I thought that I would do a video showing how I apply um, my makeup, so my face makeup. I've already done my eyebrows and my um, eye makeup as you can see but I have not done anything else. Um, as you can see from looking at my face, I have a lot of uh, melasma um, here, here, here. So you can see my face is not perfect at all. Um, I have a lot of redness, my cheek area, um, around my mouth area, chin area, and up here as well. So as you can see, I have do not have perfect skin. And this is one of the reasons why I fell in love with Saint is it pretty much covers it up. So depending on how much makeup you want to apply, uh, it just depends on, um, you know, uh, your coverage. So you can also do um, things like, uh, you know, cover your blemishes so you can spot treat those areas or you can just apply um, your makeup as is. So I'm going to do that. I have my Saint palette here. This is um, a two palette. I think, how many can I fit in here? 18, I believe. <clears throat> so here's my palette. So I have three lip and cheeks. I have my contour, my bronzer, my, this is a main highlight, but this highlight is not my main highlight. This is mango. This is um, something that I do use to spot treat. This is my main shade, Sandy. And then this is my um, other highlight, uh, Sunlit. I did order another color aside from Sunlit because I don't feel like Sunlit works that well for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, this does have a second compartment. I don't have anything in yet. I haven't put my the rest of my tins in here, but this is basically all I need for um, my face. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers to apply it to my face, and then I will use my bronze, uh, my bronzer and blush brush. <clears throat> Excuse my language, uh, my uh, voice for some reason it's hoarse. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my contour color, and this contour color for me is Astoria. I'm just gonna go in my cheekbone area and just just apply it there, and then I'm gonna also pull up this way so I'm not going to go too far into where my cheek cheeks are but you can feel where your um, cheekbone is sorry about that I'm still learning how to use this so um, if it's not perfect, you know, it doesn't have to be applied perfectly, but I'm gonna apply it here along my hairline. I do have a big forehead, so depending on the size of your forehead, it will kind of depend on how much product you want to, or where you want to apply the product. I have a smaller space here, so I'm not gonna worry about that one too much, but I am gonna apply a good amount here and along under my chin, along here. <clears throat> so I'll do a little bit more here. Okay, then I'm going to take this blush uh, part of it and I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, or blend it out a little bit and kind of like use stipple motions, not swipe. I'm gonna pull it up to bring it up to my hairline. And pull it up that way. I apologize. It's been a while since I've gotten my hair done, and I so badly, badly need to. I'm gonna apply a little bit more onto my brush of some contour and just apply it here in this area. Then I'm gonna, I am gonna pull it in this way and then pull it up.
If you feel like you got too much, too much below your um, cheekbone, you can always use your um, main shade, main highlight, which is the your foundation to um, put like a <clears throat> cleaner line. Okay, I'm gonna do that. It'll all pretty much come together in the end. So um, the very first time I tried Saint was, um, I ordered my first product a couple months ago. So I've been trying it ever since, but I'm the type that I don't wear makeup every day. So <clears throat> I was watching a video or someone on Facebook and um, that's how I got introduced to Saint. So I'm gonna go in now with, I'm gonna go ahead and put my main shade Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go with, with uh, just kind of put a little bit of this to kind of cover my redness a little bit. And kind of my dark areas somewhat. <clears throat> you don't have to do this. But I'm going to. I normally would usually, when I was using traditional makeup, I would cover up my blemishes, like some of the spots, and then um, I would use my foundation. So this is pretty much what I'm doing now. And as you can see, it does a fairly decent job. I'll hide a little bit here in covering some of the redness. here and I'm just gonna stipple you know I don't want to swipe because then that's going to uh, just remove the uh, makeup that I'm applying okay also um sorry I feel like I need to kind of tone down my contour a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and um, um, blend out my contour here before I forget and just pull it down to my neck area a little bit <clears throat> and leave a little bit of shadow since I do still have some fluff. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and apply um, my main shade, which is, my main shade is Sandy. Let me apply a little bit more contour up here real quick. Sorry guys. The beauty of this makeup is that you can put on, take off as much as you want and it blends beautifully. It like melts in your skin so beautifully and it just looks like your skin, it looks natural. And it doesn't look cakey like your traditional makeup. Now I'm going to apply uh, my main shade, Sandy. And I'm just going to apply it there. Just right under my um, contour. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over. Actually where I feel that I need it. All the way up here, here, and I'm just dipping it, my fingers into it because it's gonna warm it up and it's going to um, help you apply it a lot better. And it's gonna go on much, much better. Put some on my nose. And sometimes I do contour my nose, but I'm not going to this time around. Sorry if you hear the, all that noise in the background. And I'm just gonna blend. Just blend, blend. Oh my God, my husband sometimes, he gets into these spurts and he gets a little hyper because 
He spends a lot of time in the office, in his office, in meetings and just working in general. And so he sometimes needs to, like the children, let off, blow off a little bit of steam. And he's working out right now. So, so he's doing. Got my nerves. And I still need to play with the lighting, the ring light that I have behind. So it's probably washing me out or making me like some kind of way because I don't look this way in the mirror for the way. Clean up the sides, my shadow, my eyeshadows, and If you feel like the contour line is too harsh, you can always clean that up. I love seeing brushes. They're so good. So good. I don't know if that looks better, the lighting. I'm trying to play around with it a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and put my blush and I'm gonna go in with the color. Um, I'm gonna go in with the nude and just apply that here and just dab it. So as I said, I just became a saint artist on um, Saint's birthday, which was. Um, the 17th, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and apply my bronzer, which is Bella Bronzer. Warm that up with my fingers. And just dab it on there. Basically, anywhere the sun would hit you naturally. I'll apply it up here and here. Nose. Here. 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 Just anywhere would you where you would feel like it would hit you. Like my finger. If you don't want to do it that way, you can use your brush. Okay, and just stipple it. See how beautiful that blends it and how it warms up my face. It warms up my face beautifully. If you're interested in this makeup, you can f message me and I can color match you or I, you can just go straight to my link and I recommend being color matched, but if you feel that you can, you know, do a good job color matching yourself, then feel free to do that. But I would recommend being color matched and I would be happy to do that for you. And um, we can go from there. I love this makeup. This makeup um, looks the most natural. And as you, as I've gotten older, I noticed that my the makeup wasn't going on nicely, like traditional foundation and or um, stick foundation or just your traditional makeup was not going on uh, nicely at all. And I just didn't like the way my skin looked. It was like flaky, dry, and I did not like that look. So I was watching these videos and and I saw, came across Saint makeup and I said, oh my God, their skin looks so beautiful. And I said, I need to try that. And it took me a while to try it. It took me months to try it. Until I finally just said, you know what? I'm just gonna order the minimum. The minimum is basically your contour, your bronzer, your main highlight, and you can, if you want like a illuminating highlight and then like one chip, lip and cheek color. 
That's basically it. Look how beautiful that looks. So that's it, guys. If you're interested, send me a message and I'll be happy to color match you. Any other information, any questions you have, let me know. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.